Today we're going to uh, learn how to make a drivable bus for trains, Train Simulator 2012. Okay, right now I'm trying to make a replica of a one of those two section buses that bend in the middle around curves. Now the main issue that I've noticed with drivable buses and trucks in this game is they don't turn a corner correctly. So I'm gonna try to make a bus that actually turns like a real one. And to do that, I'm going to make it so that the attachment points for what the game considers the front of the vehicle is actually gonna be where the tire is located. So it turns where the tire is, the rear tire. So, so basically, how it's going to be programmed is where the rear axle is, that's where it's going to follow the, um, the invisible track. And hopefully they'll make it turn correctly, but I haven't had a chance to test this out yet because I'm still making the floor of the bus. Now, to make a replica of another uh, of a, something like this, it's great to have a replica of the vehicle that's correct to scale. So I have this uh, replica of a of the bus that I'm trying to make. It's 190 of scale and correct to scale. So. I, so all I really have to do is copy this and make it 90 times as big and that should make it perfectly to scale. Now I'm going to design this as three separate trains. The first one is going to be the front section and then the vestibule is going to be a, di a different section as well so that it'll bend correctly on turns because another issue on this game is that vestibules don't, uh, don't bend correctly on turns. They usually separate but I've noticed that on real buses the vestibules never separate. And then the rear is going to be a separate vehicle as well. So right now I'm working on the front section of the bus. I got the floor. I, I, re I replicated the floor. Now, I just, now I'm just going to color it. The color of the uh, bus floor. Which appears to be fl uh, the color black looking at pictures of it. So, I'm going to go to GMAX Material Editor, click New, Standard, okay, okay, I'm going to name this Floors, because it's going to be the color of the floors, okay, now, under Maps, uh, under diffuse color, bitmap, okay, floors, okay, now call this floors, and then click this, and then this, I think, oh wait, or, or am I supposed to, oh wait, okay, apply. Okay, now that's going to be the floor of the vehicle. It's going to look better in trains than it does in here for some reason. Okay, now. Let me see. This box under here is just the distance between the ground and the bottom of the vehicle so I can have so I can know how tall it's supposed to be. It's actually it's not going to appear on the finished product because I'm not going to texture it. So it's just going to ignore it when I export it. Okay, I'm, tr I'm kind of stuck trying to figure out how to make the walls for this and uh, the windows and everything, so we'll come back at a later time to finish this.